I just want to say that I wrote this song for the child that should be inside each of us as adults, but more importantly, for the children who are and may be around us. And so what I want to do, if I can ever get untangled, is dedicate this song to my little nine-month-old grandson, Eli Brenner. So Eli, if you're listening, this is for you. Phoenix, just pass the time away at Engine Station 35, Long San Francisco Bay. A hydrant that was portable and a fireboat with pride. The two were waiting for the chance of working side by side. But City Hall told Phoenix, well, it's time you should retire. You see, we've got enough equipment here for fighting any fire. But Mayor Feinstein stood her ground and strongly disagreed. She said this fireboat must keep afloat for future times of need. Oh, Frankie and the Phoenix waiting for the day to put some big time fires out on San Francisco Bay. And just when everybody thought City Hall was right, well, the ground beneath San Francisco should, and all the birds took flight. Walls came down throughout the town. It was a scary scene, and a blazing fire grew higher and higher near the marina green. When the firefighters came to douse those flames, they gave a mighty sigh. Cause underground those water mains had cracked and now were dry. No water for the hoses, no water in the mains. And now the whole marina could all go up in flames. Oh my Frankie and the Phoenix, waiting for the day. Put some big time fires out on San Francisco Bay. Well, the call to Station 35, help was on its way. The Phoenix sped along the docks of San Francisco Bay. She pulled up to the seawall about two blocks from the blaze. And then she and Frankie got to work to try and save the day. The Phoenix quickly started pumping water from the bay. Through hoses run through Frankie's arms to the firefighters blocks away. With Frankie's special hoses, enough water was supplied. And the whole marina gave a cheer as the fire slowly died. Oh, my Frankie and the Phoenix, the heroes of the day, just put the biggest fire out on San Francisco Bay. Oh, Frankie and the Phoenix, I hear both are doing fine. He's an amazing illustrator, so thank you very much. Before we conclude, uh, I did want to pay particular attention and let you know that these are beautiful programs. They're, they're keepsakes, and they wouldn't have been able to be printed 
without the support of the San Francisco Fire Credit Union. And I know uh, Ed Liggins is here today, retired member, and he's now on the board. So thank you to the credit union, always partnering with us. And I think uh, there is Martin Thibodeau and Janice Bianco are here as well that work for the credit union. So thank you so much. And we also have a gentleman that I understand is on his way to Indonesia tonight. He was also here five years ago. Uh, retired professor from Kyoto University in Japan, and he's a world's expert on the phenomenon of fire following earthquake. And wanted to introduce Dr. Charles Scawthorne. Thank you for being here today. And so a lot of a sea of colors out there. The uh, the other color that I didn't acknowledge earlier, and you see them in the back working already. The people in the blue T-shirts, I'm told, are from all over. But we had well over 100 volunteers that were interested and uh, responded to the, the call for help. So thank you to all of you, well over 100 of you that have responded to the Big Rumble events. Thank you very much. You're hard at work. And, and I'm hearing there's some green out there for the, for the CERT teams. Those are teams that uh, in other communities, San Francisco uses the acronym NERT, and CERT is from another jurisdiction or another city, so thank you for being here today, ma'am. And last of all, I wanted to uh, acknowledge the participating sponsor. Certainly, um, we talked about the credit union. The presenting sponsor to make all of this happen this week, and it was no easy task. We did need some finances, and we were gratefully uh, appreciative of everyone that stepped forward. So. They do uh, deserve some recognition. The presenting sponsor was the San Francisco Marathon. Thank you very much. The premier sponsor, and I'll roll through this fairly quickly, is SF Weekly Magazine. Or SF Weekly, yeah. The principal sponsors, AT&T, SOS, Target, Verizon Wireless. A little competition there, I see. Uh, and PG&E. And I would uh, also like to say that PG&E, as everyone remembers uh, from the Marina District, they worked around the clock, too, in 1989 to restore everyone's power and uh, utilities just as soon as it was safe to do so. So thank you again to PG&E. Major sponsors include California Chips. I think they were giving out some earthquake chips. Sunset Scavenger. Uh, supporting sponsor, Cliff Bar. And event sponsors, thank you to Cole Hardware, Harrington Wine, Hertz Re Equipment Rental, and Lex Ron Productions. So that's it for today. Uh, once again, I think that everyone's message, particularly Mayor Newsom's message about taking this seriously. We're celebrating, we're commemorating, but we're also getting serious about being good citizens. And part of being a good citizen is to make sure you're prepared, whether it's where you're, if you're in your workplace, if you're at home, if your kids are at school, if you have pets. Think about all the scenarios, where you might be when the next one hits, because it is going to be when it hits, not if it hits. So thank you very much for coming out and participating. And you know what? There's one more person, Jerry Shannon. Jerry Shannon, come on, stand up. And I just have to say, stand up a little bit longer. You deserve it. Jerry Shannon is 